Hey you guys, how you doing? Today is Thursday, uh, fourth day into the trip and we're going to try for a second time to take the tram up to the peak so we get the complete view of the Hong Kong skyline. Um, we tried the other day and it was just way too busy and it was going to be pitch black by the time we got up there. To be honest you, I'm feeling quite shattered today. We've been doing a hell of a lot of walking. Yesterday we clocked in over 15 kilometres on foot. I don't know if you can see that. We did about the same day before and on our first day here we did I think nearly 20 kilometres. That said, let's crack on with the day. Let's go and see this view and uh, appreciate being on holiday. so many steps and slopes and and we're just on our way to breakfast I think I'm gonna be shattered today before I even get to the peak so we've just climbed this whole flaming hill it's flaming mental the reason we've come up here today is because Bob sourced a really good breakfast place um, well he tells me it's really good so fingers crossed it best be because I'm flaming starving I don't like climbing hills before my breakfast. You work outside? Um, yeah, well, there's no seats inside, is there? So. We found the place. I think I'm going to go for the elephant breakfast. Alright, so that's breakfast done. Back on our way. Just had to sit through some guy talking about cryptocurrency and doing a start-up, um, which is fine, but they're dragging on and on and on. And I just wanted to enjoy my breakfast in peace. I don't want none of that crap. Anyway, let's find this tram. <laughs> we did the British thing and paid out for the money to skip the queue. We still had to wait half hour though. The tram is finally here. Let's get out of this peak. Quite steep, I didn't manage to get steep, so I'm hanging off the deer line as you'd expect in Hong Kong, I guess. Right guys, we made it to the peak finally, day four. Almost ended the holiday without coming up here, but it was well worth it. I know this place is a tourist trap, but um, rightly so, I reckon. This is probably one of the things that hasn't disappointed when it comes to tourism. This view is outstanding. Um, I would say if you're coming to Hong Kong, it's one thing you have to do without foul. Um, Unless you don't like skyscrapers, then probably you shouldn't come to Hong Kong. That's what I'd say. Uh, yeah, look, I'm just going to do a, a little spin and I'll show you some scenery, but check this view out. It's absolutely crazy. It's mental. But um, the tram up here was a bit of a nightmare. They like ram you in like sam de sardines uh, but yeah sometimes you just have to put up with stuff just to see something like that spectacular 
The worst part about this is it's pretty much entirely man-made. The tram itself, when we were coming up, uh, I thought it was going to be a, a fairly subtle journey. However, um, the, the angle of the track went up to 45 degrees at one point and the carriage was level with the track. So it wasn't like pitched or anything, which meant that I, was after, I didn't manage to bag a seat, unfortunately. So I was literally hanging on for dear life in there. Otherwise I could have just like fallen out the back window and plummeted to my death. Um, anyway, it's overly dramatic. Quickly walk you around the outside. <laughs> a little bit blowy up here. Hopefully my uh, wind muffle will do the job. Let's check this shows you this side of Hong Kong probably because there's not a lot going on but still nice it's like Lama Island where we went the other day that's it folks enough views for one day Bye.